We're here with the Whiskey Wonders Podcast. My name is Johnny Dent. I want to be Johnny Cash, but I'm in debt. I don't have no cash. Let's run it with some G-Force. G-Force. My safe word will be whiskey. What's up, everybody? This is Bowser from the Whiskey Waters Podcast, and today I am with my boy. It's hey, just the boys. It's just the boys, man. It's the boys. Bitch, you thirsty. Are you thirsty? You thirsty. Yeah, I'm kind of thirsty. thirsty. Uh, we're drinking on some Russell's Ten Year. This is your favorite. This is my personal favorite. Yeah, it is your favorite. I love this. I love this whiskey, man. I don't um, know what it is about this particular bourbon, but what, it's one of those things I can drink and do computer work with. Oh, so really? this has become my editing best friend right so, here. So you, I've slammed this bottle. It's cut, I feel like you've put a lot of time into this bottle. Oh yeah, we've gotten to know each other. <laughs> yeah, we're very cordial, dude. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I just think it's very smooth. I don't know. I tried it one time. I forgot. It was a couple of months ago, and I just have been sipping it ever since. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it is a good whiskey. It's a t- and it's a ten year, so you know what I mean. It's obviously it made a debut in the vlog too. Yeah, we drank Russell's in we the vlog. Did do it in the vlog. Yeah. Um, and yeah, anything ten year obviously is pretty. You know, at least going to be decent. I'm not even going to front like I know anything about whiskey. I just enjoy drinking it with you right. guys and having a good time. You know, like <laughs> you know about whiskey. Come on, man. I mean, you we're, know, we're, not we're, on not on Gesh's level or any you know okay, any well, real you know. connoisseur. Um, dude, uh, when you, when you, uh, you were just traveled to Austin, huh? dude. Yeah. I went to Austin, man. I went to the land of Rogan, bro. Did you have any, like, and supposedly, out there? And supposedly Elon Musk too. I guess Elon's got a place in Austin. I think he, I think Joe like pretty much brought a shit ton of people out there, right? There was a, there was a big influx from California uh, for, yeah. just because the legislation they have over there, it's so strict. People were like, yo, we want to go somewhere where we can like live our lives again and do stuff in Texas. L.A., you're saying, right? So yeah. a lot of people left Mostly from L.A., LA. yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, and I heard it was like uh, Austin. It was like, a, you know, Texas in general and Florida, too, was another a big one in Tennessee. Yeah, Florida. Florida. I mean, Florida's always getting people coming to visit. Too much. You know? too, y'all stay the fuck out of here. Yeah, a lot of Canadians. I'll let you go. A lot of, <laughs> lot of Bostonians. Bostonians. Uh, New Yorkers, too. A lot of New Yorkers come down here. How, so, you know, what? So, Bostonians. How many Bostonians? Dude, I, mo- like, I, like, most of my major, like, main friend groups, they're all Patriots fans. Oh. All of them. Like, my best oh, okay. friend. Okay, so that's, I was like, Bostonians. I was like, I thought it was like some weird, like, tribe. Yeah, like, three of my <laughs> main best friends are all from Boston, diehard Boston fans. Oh, my gosh. Bruins, Patriots, My mom is from f- Florida, Fort Pierce. Yeah. And she's a fucking Boston fan. I'm like, what? She's like a Patriots fan. Like, you know what it is? I went up to Boston, like when they were having, like I went to a game at Fenway, and at the same time, the Bruins were playing in the Stanley Cup. So, like the atmosphere in the city was just lit. right. I mean, it's the sports. You know what I mean? You could really. It's Title Town, dude. Yeah, yeah. Like for many years. Well, I mean, Title Town, I think is Tampa. As a, uh, from from yeah, they're that. definitely making a name for sure. Dude, I mean, well. We got like three and one, right? Didn't we almost? Or I think t- the Lightning. When was the li- when did the uh, Lightning win the last? When was their last Stanley win? Cup? Was not I think it was one of the same times that it was. Uh, didn't the didn't um, it was Tampa, the uh, Buccaneers, and then the Lightning, and then the fucking um, what was it? The state what's the Tampa Bay Rays? They were almost in it, right? Right. There was something. Maybe I'm wrong. One of the three teams fucked it up. They're al- they almost had like a 2015. A- it says. It went. Lightning have won three straight. Look, three no, Stanley 2020 and 2021. Uh, okay. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. And one of those years, what what, what was it, 2020, the Tampa Bay uh, Bucks won the Super Bowl. Okay, yeah. Right? Yep, yep, Wasn't yep. that right? Tom In Brady. Tampa. Right. Yeah. So that, they did it the same year. And then the fucking Rays were actually like... I think in the st- I think in the um, what do you call it the World Series World Series yeah <laughs> and they don't play nobody else in the world bro uh, <laughs> <laughs> Patrice <O'Neal>. World Series <laughs> well um, you drink some whiskey in uh, Austin um, no nah, not really man I mean I, I drank a little bit but not not too much I was kind of just more on like an explorative mindset like right. I just wanted to see as much Check as I could Austin seems I've never been but uh, I've been through the Dallas airport. <laughs> 
the city's really good. Like, it's young people because it's right next to the college. You know what I mean? You got the University of Texas right there, the Longhorns. So everything is real young base. A lot of, like, cool places to eat, Cause places to shop. Good yeah. food. Dude. Yeah, good My food. main source of going places. Easy to get around. Ubers are easy. You know what I mean? You got the bird scooters if you want to get crazy. Oh, shit. You Did know? you get them? Oh, yeah. The bird scooters <laughs> are the most fun, bro. Said, oh, yeah. It's yeah. such a fun way to whip around, oh, yeah. bro. Um, I fucking love those two. Those I can't believe fire. I just hit the hell yes button. I had no idea what that was. I love those things, bro. They haul ass. Nah, um, but it was clean. It was just, there was a lot to do. Like, I can see why a lot of young people gravitate towards that city because there's right. just so much to do. You could walk everywhere. Like, it's a vibe. You know right. what I mean? Damn. Um, I don't know if I lived there because it was, it was surprisingly cold as fuck. It was, it well, was I cold. Mean, yeah, I mean, I think Austin gets even snow, right? Yeah, I don't know why, but like, I grew up, I always thought Texas was like desert. Like, you know what I mean? Like cowboys. I think, and it's desert. A it's like, I think it might have a little bit of a mixture of everything. Right? I, know, I just no. never thought of snow in Texas, but I mean, it's obviously, I think there. it's in, uh, what I've heard is I think it's a lot more ice than snow. It's like ices. Dude, they had that big ass storm recently. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. One of the Uber drivers was telling me about it. He was like, Uber yeah, drivers. Man, it's crazy. You it's wear like, your mask in an Uber? None of them wore masks. <laughs> None of the more masks, Man, dude. I mean, dude, uh, the fucking uh, the truck drivers are are telling us they're like they're they're gonna stop like delivering shit if we fucking it, like w it, what is that? What is the exact? I think they're protesting vaccine mandates. Right. They don't. Okay. They okay. don't want to be forced to take something. They don't want. You know what I mean? Which right. is you know they have a right to feel that way. You know. When are we gonna stop this? You know what I mean? I don't know, dude. It's just become so political now that, like, I don't really care about it anymore. Like, and yeah. I mean, I'm not going to, like, I'm not going to be one of those people that, like, takes, defies, like, takes my mask off on an airplane and refuses right. to wear it, like, and gets kicked off. Like, no, nah, I'm going to fucking wear the mask. But you you're going mean? to, you're going to figure out a way. Yo, but my note, like, like, dude, I'm going to peek out of the foxhole and get that fresh, you know, get a fresh breath every now <laughs> and then. What did you they, tell they, me today, though? You, you found the hack, didn't you? Yeah, I'm a fucking dude. So if you're on the plane, right, like, you have to wear a mask at all times. And even if your mask, like, goes above, like, below your nose. They, like, trip. Yeah, they freak out. <laughs> like, they're so crazy about it. But, like, if you're eating something, no one says shit. It's perfectly okay right. to eat. You know what I mean? So all you got to do is just go to, like, one of those little kiosks right by your gate. Get, like, a big bag of chips. The biggest. Hopefully they're, like, low sodium. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, you're not, the like, biggest. Doing too much damage. <laughs> and then you just eat that shit the whole plane ride and you don't have to wear the mask the whole time not gonna say shit yeah i uh it would just be fucking hurt my belly eat a big ass thing that's Family why you gotta, doritos you gotta pace yourself bro you just gotta find that happy pace i was like or like either that or you just pretend you're chewing Fake everything chew. <laughs> <laughs> every time they come by like mm, yeah war room yeah and like you you don't have shit and there. just the way they tell you to like you're like can you plate it over your nose and you're just right. like shut yeah. up Come on, you fucking jerk. Like, I'll fart right now. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing, too. Like, I can smell farts, cologne yeah, through come the on. mask. Like, we know this. Yeah, you're telling me that shit's blocking? Come on. Nah, dude. But I think it is. But what it is, I think, is um, some, like, really air bound i think but also like what you get is like from like droplets of their their argument would be from people talking like spit or anything or like for sure like, but i mean if you're getting close enough that my your spit's gonna land on my mouth region mm -hmm. we have to be like dating yeah, you know, yeah. what I mean? nobody's that close to me mm -hmm. i guess i, I guess i, I think really it's different happen, on an airplane because you're in like a pressurized airplane like you're all breathing the same, same air, air yeah. so i feel like it's circulating around so i feel like it would make sense yeah but i think covid it, is not a airborne virus i, I have no I idea I'm, it's, it's only a, like surface i don't notes. even know at this point but um i mean good hat by the way though for everybody out there just just chips. get the big bag of chips and just pretend like you're eating it or fake chew you know but as long as you're eating it's cool right i mean you can't say nothing you're like every time i'm like, mm, mm. You know what I mean? Could I also guess. work with a large bottle of water, you know? You might yeah. have to pee a lot, but at least you, you know, can fucking breathe, dude, you know? I, if I, like, if I get on any trip, like, you know, more than three hours, I feel like the older I get, like, the fucking, I gotta, the, like, every four Traveling seconds. is so much harder as an adult, isn't it? Damn. It just drains you, bro. Like, just, you, I never thought sitting down all day would be so tiring. It's the, it's the worst. Yeah. I travel a lot right now for work. I'm, I'm in the fucking truck all the time driving. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, which podcasts are the truth, man. Po like... Um, we a lot we of, do this podcast in a different city every time. It seems like, dude, one hundred percent. The last three have been in shout a out Fort Myers. Every time. Shout out to the entire. Hey, 
Caroline. <laughs> South Florida region, bro. <laughs> uh, we're in Fort Myers right now, man. We're in your hood. Two three nine, bro. Man, shout, shout out, out to them. Barrel Two Three Nine. Let me get a. Uh, let me get some horns going. I think it's too yeah, late. We'll dude. say it later. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll edit them in. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Do people do that? I'm my, sure, make I'm my sure. job a lot easier sure here so, with the yeah, finding. I'm sure. Do you know what's crazy? When I first started doing that, that's how I did it. I edited in the sound effects. Oh, really? Yeah. They kind of seem because I was an idiot and didn't know any better. Well. This is fun because I could just be silly with it because I don't even know which ones. Let's find one real fast. Let's see what this is. Okay. Let's actually like scoop through. I'll go to like right here. Like ready. Say what? You know what I mean? I don't even know that was coming. <laughs> Dude, have you watched Ozark? I have, dude. The you, new season. Do you remember when? Do you remember when Ruth kicks that dude in the nuts and she goes, "Get some skinny bitch." We gotta, no. <laughs> we gotta find that and make that see, a, make we, that a, uh, a pad. You know, we need to have like uh, just like Let iPhones. Me see if I can find that shit. We need to like upload. Um, we need like updates <laughs> on our fun. shit. We need updates on our pads. Like, let's see what this one is. You're a monster. <laughs> <laughs> like, where? Do, what are we gonna do with that? That's Corey G, baby. Shout out Corey G. Yeah, I miss Corey. I miss Corey G, man. Dude, um, did you see, uh, did you happen to catch the fights when you were in Austin? Uh, you're talking about um, Derek Lewis getting, oh Derek Lewis getting knocked out? Oh, he shit. took a Tyrone Woodley nap. Dude, dude, that made me sad because I love Derek Lewis, I know, bro. so God, much. He's got to be one of the most unintentionally funniest motherfuckers of and, all time. And bro. one of the most baddest. He's he's like, he's a first round, second round badass. You know, he, he I don't, has he ever gotten a third round? <laughs> Just, I've been training for 30 minutes a day, but this camp, I train an hour a day. <laughs> <laughs> he's so stupid. <laughs> I love him, bro. I got it pulled up here somewhere. Hold he on. Said, um, right here. He said, fucking, uh, he said, with that one time, he said, I had to shit, so I had to try to knock him out the first round. I had to shit. Something like that. <laughs> I love that, man. Yeah, but Bam Bam's a monster, dude. Yeah, dude. This guy's been making a lot of noise lately. He's so much. He does He does the fucking sh Nelk Boy shoe deal. Yeah, he does the shoey, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. He does the shoe deal. He just pours a fucking seltzer out of a shoe that someone's wearing that they throw up to him every time he wins. What it's, a badass move. Yeah, and I think... Um, I think I I think the Nelk boys are going to start sponsoring fighters. Is that well, at least that's no, what I heard. So I what I they're going to do is ins and outs of that. But. They're so what's going to happen is they're going to pick one fighter, not they're going to pick one fighter to fully back. Come, and I think there's like some competition even maybe or something about it. Maybe we'll look it up. Like okay. just put Nelk boys looking to sponsor fight fighter. Uh, Dana posted about it. Um, but it uh, they were all talking. So basically. They're hyped because the the following of the Nelk Boys is huge. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. if you if they sponsored one fighter, the backing that fighter would get immediately is fucking entertaining. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So they're gonna pick one person to get the. Oh, did did they pick it already? I don't know. I, I saw Net, something. Look, Nelk Boys be... set to sponsor. Sign Dana White's looking for a fight. Fighter to the UFC. So, okay. So, looking for a fighter. That's a series, all right? Isn't that a series they have? Looking for a fighter. I think so. Oh, I could be wrong. What about what well, uh, fucking Israel fucking taking it in? So look, he's got a. You think he's got to move weight classes or something? Because he's just beat the number two contender in his weight class twice. So you who know, else? You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. He's the, the ball's in his court for sure. The guy that he beat two times in a row was the runner up, not the yeah, guy Robert behind Whitaker. him. You know what I mean? He beat Robert Whitaker twice. Yeah, I don't know. Either that or a big super fight. But just the money's got to be right, you know. And he's smart. I found out today that his father is actually an accountant. Oh, really? So he like on money, the financial yeah. side of right. his, you know, he's doing really well. His that's father. Who? What a great person to have right. in your corner. Your dad's a fucking accountant. Like, yeah. oh, that's awesome. Dad, I'm making some money. Can you help? Can you help me not spend all of it? Because I'm yeah. making a lot. <laughs> I'm really good at spending all of it. Dude, I like him a lot too. Like, right like dude, he's he's been on a couple of. Um, He's been on a couple of podcasts. He's making some appearances. I guess he's on like a press run right now really? or was on a press I run. I just talked to him last week about coming on of Whiskey Wonders. Israel Adesanya? <laughs> That'd be You're so a cool. You're a monster. <laughs> <laughs> that would be tight, though. That would be cool, man. Right? I mean, dude, you know me. That is my fucking all-time, like, right now. He has. You know what I like favorite. about him? Not only is he, like, you know, spectacular to watch. He's very skilled. But I think he's, he's very tapped into the culture. And I think that makes him, like, a really fun personality to see, like, progress. Right. He's, like, he's very relatable. He's very, like, up-to-date with, like, current stuff. Like, and, you know, he says what he feels. Like, I respect him, man. He's just he's solid across the board. And that's. Right. That dude's a that's Monster. dope. Yeah, man.
I like, um, to, I like to see him fight John Jones. That'd be fire. That'd be tight. Yeah, but you know, um, I don't think anybody's John Jones got to stay out. He's got to stay out. Yeah, John's just. I just think it's. I think it's just. I mean, I'm he's just, a wild you know, boy, man. Yeah. He's a wild boy. He would be the fucking whiskey wonders sponsored a, fighter for sure. He's a fucking wild boy. How about um, um how about Snoop Doggy Dog son acquiring Death Row Records? Yeah, just fucking uh ownership, man. Yeah, what a what a crazy fucking uh turn of events there. Um dude, Snoop is he's the most so fucking, damn cool, bro. Dude, the the most relevant person in the last like de- like even more, like 20 years. If you think about it, he is debatably one of the greatest rappers of all time, just purely on like longevity. Okay, well Think, just uh, okay, think about so, longevity, right, but, right? Uh, but best rapper. Okay, so all right, let, let's let, let's break it down. I'm I'm not talking about like. There's obviously so many subcategories of this exact thing. Okay, but what yeah. I'm saying is just like in terms Rural of relevant. Overall, you could say just say relevant, relevant, right? Still, that says it's something insane. You know what I mean? Yeah. What do you think about him crip walking on the halftime show? I mean, got the b- that's big some LA bees, shit. Man. That's some LA shit, bit, dude. Bocklet bit bookies. Bocklet bit. <laughs> <laughs> Boy is mad as hell out there, cut. Bakla bit bookies. They're out there cutting on him, and they're pissed. Um, uh, yeah. yeah, this and this is the same. You ever seen? I love this. There, there's like, he's he's been across. Dude, he had a murder charge. You know what I mean? He fucking beat a murder case. Yeah. And um, I love the. There's like an old interview. They're like, uh, he went to No Limit for a while. Mm-hmm. Um, Snoop, mm-hmm. which I think he uh, death. That's uh that was Suge Knight's fucking re- Death Row Records was Suge Knight right? Uh-huh. It's, he owned it, which uh-huh. is crazy. So, but he like I don't know whatever the beef and shit was. Um, but Snoop went over to No Limit Soldiers and like there was like a, uh, interview and, and they were like Snoop. So what do you think about uh, uh Suge saying like that you used to be a superstar now you're just a, a stupid or something lone soldier or something? He goes, and it was after like Suge got hit with some shit like and he like and was in jail. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, so I hear blah, blah, blah. And then, sh- like, without skipping a beat, dude, uh, Snoop Dogg is like, well, you used to be a CEO, and now you're just a convict. And fucking uh, flicks to the fucking camera off and walks away from the interview. I was like, what a boss. Yeah, sure, just can't you really say anything, You used to be a CEO, dude. and now you're just a convict. Yeah. Like, he, that wasn't, like, planned. That's a mic drop. That was, like, That's a fucking even, mic drop, You know dude. what I mean? Yeah. He fucking roasted him and got his ass right there. Um, That's crazy. And man. what about what do you think about the dollar bill hanging upside down? At the what do you mean the dollar bill is hanging upside down at the, yeah, at at the, the Super Bowl? Show? What what do you mean what the significance of it was? You don't, you don't even know what I'm talking about. Oh, you're talking about Fifty Cent. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! I have that pulled up over uh, here. Listen, Fifty Cent was hanging upside down. <laughs> boy was looking thick, dude. Yeah, boy has a couple candy shops in the yeah. side of his belly. <laughs> Yo, what's crazy is he wore the fucking actual yeah, G unit. He had the G unit <laughs> fucking tank tops on. I used to think you those remember were, those? I used to think those were so hard. I did day, buy a pack and I was <laughs> I'm mad at myself. <laughs> then you put it on and you were like, I can't. Yo, I'm not I was not big this. at all when I bought them. I yeah, was like dude. the smallest. Yeah. Still, My bony 13 year old yeah, shoulders like, and that G unit. It was like, top. what are you wearing, dude? I'm glad there's no pictures of that, man. There uh, might be, but. Oh my god, that is too funny, dude. Yeah, he's hanging up. So, but I wish they showed a video of him getting off the hanging upside down. Oh, I'm sure it was so funny. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, they must have closed it and him getting down. Do you uh, think he was hanging or they, like, had him, like, tied up so he definitely wouldn't fall? Because uh, look at him. I don't know, man. I mean, maybe maybe he was hanging by himself. But at the same time, like, for safety reasons, they probably had him strapped in. Yeah, I don't know. In the beginning, in the, in, in the actual video, is he doing sit-ups? Yeah, he's doing like uh, yeah, he's doing like in the sit up. So he's in, but he was in shape then, like big time. Yeah, yeah. Like his ass is not lifting up right there. Fifties, fifties always been in really good. But shape, But he's dude. he's fucking huge right here. Not even maybe just fat, just like, I mean a little bit of fat, but like look at his belly. He's poking out. This is like, this is rich fat. He's huge though. Also, <laughs> like is, look at his shoulders and is, his arms. This is I'm, fucking this big. is I'm working double overtime fat. You think he does steroids? But, you know, but the thing is, you know, I love the way he handled it though, because like he wasn't even tripping. He like went along with it. He's like, "Yeah, that's hilarious," and like I just think that's cool. Like, you know what I mean? Did he? Did he make any? Po- he did make some posts. Yeah, he fucking him? dude. Fifty Cent be clowning people all I the know. time. He has to be able to take a. You joke, ever dude. seen the one where he's like, "Listen, Floyd, if you could oh, read yeah. a page of the Harry, Harry Potter, Potter book, <laughs> <laughs> dude, him and Floyd's beef was one of the it's funniest so beefs good. of all time, dude." <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Floyd Mayweather, dude, apparently Logan Paul. Has filed oh, a lawsuit. He won't pay him. 
I, I guess. Right? I guess not. I don't, well, I don't okay, know or or like that. whatever the whatever the fucking details are. Logan Paul has not got paid from the fight of from him and Floyd. Uh, it's been quite a while. Yeah. I, I think the contract said within ninety days. And within ninety days, he should be. It's paid. been well over ninety days, obviously, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. They asked um, they asked Adesanya on Flagrant Two, um, if it takes a long time for pay per view, and he was like, no. So I think. And I don't know this for sure, but I think maybe that f- the fight didn't do that well, right. and now Floyd has to come out of pocket with some of that money. And it's probably from the promotional stuff, too. like you know what I mean. Like mm-hmm. I think so. Say you set up a a fight, like McGregor and um, McGregor. Sorry, my mic is kind of fucked up. McGregor and Floyd when they fought. Mm-hmm. That was when McGregor like said, "Fuck it, I'm going to start my own promotional because it's flame, uh, flame Miller." <laughs> <laughs> uh, Flay Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather. You speaking cursive? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Mayweather Productions or whatever it is, or uh, promotions, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, that's how he makes most of his money, not just from getting paid from the fight. He like promotes it himself and gets paid from you know everything else from mm-hmm. his promotional. So I think, but I think <clears throat> from your promotional side, you have to pay uh, people that get numbers, which at that point would be either McGregor or uh, Logan Paul or whatever. You know what right, I mean? Like, right, right, yeah. So that's where you're saying he has to pay out of pocket from his promotional company, Yeah. which I think that's probably what's happening. Not like... Hurt, I mean, wouldn't it hurt a little bit more coming out of your pocket? Yeah. You know? But I mean, I but I'm sure Logan or, or even uh, McGregor had to pay Floyd from their side of the promotional value too because Floyd is promoting I'm it not, as well. I'm not really sure the ins and outs of the, of the contract. I just know that... Um, Will there not be an equal percentage? Could be an which would be, thing. which like an equal percentage would just exit itself out. Like mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Like Mayweather uh, promotions, McGregor promotions. You get twenty percent. I get twenty percent. The fight made this much, mm-hmm. unless they st- like kind of stipulated on like who sold more tickets or something like that. I don't mm-hmm. know. But yeah, I don't know. But I think regardless, like pay the man his money. You know, like sign a contract. That's the yeah. deal. You know. But that's also like a like a little flex on Floyd. He's like, fuck you. Come get your money. <laughs> yeah. As we, you know, that's just how Floyd is. But, you know, what sucks is that, like, I think, I feel like Floyd had to deal with, um, you know, shady business people like that early on in his career. And now he's kind of becoming that same guy. Well, also, do you think Floyd has as much money as, he, like, he, like, he says or what? <sighs> yeah. I think Floyd has a lot of money, bro. I don't think, I don't, I just think. Well, a lot of money, yes. I was thinking, like, you know what I mean? I don't even know, man. Like, just the way money's viewed nowadays by celebrities, it's like it fucking grows on trees. Dude, and, like, the money that they make for the amount of time that they... I mean, and I, granted, they, they put it in their whole life to train and get this good and stuff like that. Um, it's just really, like, humanly fucking crazy to think about to work for and to say even if like you get fucking three minutes in the first round and you knock them out or whatever mm-hmm. in just three minutes you just made like 90 mil or something like whatever the fucking right you know what i mean yeah it, it, you're making so much money for just to, not a lot of time and that's that yeah. the time is like just really like puts a fucking like big dent in my brain because people work 40 hours for like a fucking like the blue for nothing car for you know what i mean to like barely pay rent like with what you made in three minute minutes you could yeah. fucking pay rent for 50 people for 25 years yeah it's crazy dude one night of work fucking 30 million three minutes uh, yeah and, and i know some of those contracts are just like all he has to do is show up and it's like yeah and million. i and i hate to say that like three minutes because you know that's that's a lie and i, I because you do put a lot of time and your energy into it, but like, like so forty hours. Well, I think we know that there's way more to it than that. Right. But like, we're but talking about just like you know the official the amount of money you're making for what right. you're doing. You're working yeah. towards something, but I've also worked towards being the guy that I am at work as well. You know what I mean? So right. then, like, if I and I've been I've put in sixteen years of time for it, but I still don't get paid. For three minutes of my time, which you get paid. And I've been in 16 years as well. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. the dedication is there, but it's just different. Like the level of what I get paid in three minutes and what you get paid in three minutes is huge. It's also the level of risk, too. Like these guys are the top True. tier, 1% of, in the world, and they're punching each other in the head. Like yeah. there's so much risk. These guys can yeah, die. Yeah, I mean, I, I, almost, I, I, I work with electrical. Yeah. Daily, you know. Yeah. I mean, you have know you ever saying? been like shocked? I've been real lit bad? the fuck up, dude. Describe run. What was the worst? I have one. one I have one. It's really bad. All right. So, mm-hmm. 
uh, I was I was putting an Insta hot and I was just like fucking up in this dude. I was like in, in this in St. Petersburg putting in like a hot water heater for like fucking uh, uh, a beer store actually, oh, and uh, as my buddy's beer store, shout, shout out Sheps, it's not there anymore, but. Um, <laughs> It's uh, had like three thousand beers. I would just go over there and hang out. And he's like, "We want to put this in." I was like, "Yeah." So I was up in the ceiling and I was fucking. Um, I was pissed off because everything I did all this shit for an hour or two hours or whatever. I was up in the the ceiling doing all the shit. Came down. Was up there for like another hour. I'm like, "All right, everything's done." I was like, "Fucking ready to go home." Turned everything on. It wasn't working. I was like, "Fucking pissed off." So I was like, "My tester had fell in, fell out of my pocket." Like. Psh- I don't know, 15, 20 feet to the ground. Your tester, what is that? What do you mean? Uh, all right, tester? so to test the electric. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You know, to see if there's electricity or whatever. Gotcha. And I was like, fuck, I had to like climb, but I was like sweaty. I was done. I was over it. And I have, I've had, I've tested electric like real fast at the back of your hand. By the way, if you're going to ever test electrical, uh, Corey, is, do, Corey is a professional, <laughs> trained professional. <laughs> never do it with your hand this way, close. Like you're gonna grab it with your Cause fingers, you clench because it'll clench yeah, you. Yeah, you'll be able yeah. to hold on. So always smack with the side. Actually, just don't do that. Just at don't all. do it at all. <laughs> but if you ever if you have safely to, want to touch a live wire, <laughs> no safe way about it. There's no. <laughs> <laughs> and also, this was um, I had been doing it for uh, this is like eight years ago, probably. Uh, you know what I mean? So okay. I was like six years into it. I knew what it was going to do, but I also was a young fucking dumb, stupid person, you know, you got comfortable. Uh, yeah, I was like, it's just going to hurt for a minute. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of sometimes, but I, what I didn't realize is I was holding on to a metal. It, everything up there was painted black. Oh shit. And so I, I, I should have just looked, but I just, everything was painted black. It just didn't seem like I was holding onto the metal thing. I didn't even like kind of think about it. Yeah. So I just smacked it, but I was holding onto a metal uh, pipe. So I fucking went right through me. Obviously metal's a conductor. Right. And it was shot through my fucking chest and everything. And like fucking tensed up really hard, like on the thing. Like, yeah. And I had to like. Like, oh it was, like, quick because I was, like, like I said, smacked it. But it was just, it still held me for a minute long enough to, like, get the Holy connection, shit, dude. dude. That's crazy. And uh, it was really bad. So, what the, what, it, like, it was shot through my heart. So, fucking Bon Jovi'd me. Uh, <laughs> so, what happened? Did you pass out? I did not. I was good. But it was, like, all my muscles were really, like, fucking fatigued. Yeah. Because like, it like oh, really wow, bad. It was it was a it was a two pool which to put everybody else like a regular it was more electric than a regular outlet. Mm-hmm. Um it was a you know like anyway um and so my tits fucking or chest or whatever you want to call them I'll call them tits because they <laughs> fucking blew up like tits dude. Uh, yeah. <laughs> my chest was huge. <laughs> <laughs> it's so crazy, dude. Like, I walked around for, like, three days. You got a chest pump, dude? Dude. I mean, it would have been cool if they looked like I, like, worked out. They didn't. They, like... <laughs> It looked odd. Like they were like fucking just like swollen. Got, it wasn't punched in the chest. It wasn't like yeah. It, like I didn't look buff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't look buff. I looked like I should be wearing a bra. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, it blew up. It they inflamed. They were huge. Like fucking even like, <laughs> like kind of like fatty. Set. It was like just the weirdest thing. I was like, what the fuck? And luckily they went back. Oh shit! That's but dude, hilarious. it like. It, yeah, my whole shit was swollen. I was sore for like a fucking week and a half, and it went wow. through my heart, so I could have died immediately. Um, That's crazy. Yeah, so three Did minutes. Did you have to go to the hospital after that happened? You know, I, I didn't. I could, like, maybe still to this day have, like, a weird heart situation with it because, like, I don't know, like, an irregular heartbeat or something, but mm-hmm. uh, I just, yeah, never did that. That's crazy. I fucking, I don't go to the hospital. Did you get burned? You didn't burn, right? No, I didn't no? get burned. Hmm. Uh-uh. Wasn't a burn. It was a fucking. <laughs> that's, that's fucking. Had to wear crazy. a bra for two days. That's all. God damn. <laughs> yeah. So you didn't go to the hospital. There was no like follow up of like injuries or anything. No, or, wow, I didn't, that's I mean, crazy. There was no. Yeah, I didn't like fall or anything. It wasn't like it was just fucking like real like muscle bound. Like mm-hmm. it was like all fucking swollen and, and hurt and wow. tight. You know what I mean? Damn. Had like really stretch out for like a fucking month. Fucking shit. I like your Aaliyah shirt. Where did you find that gem? Thank you, dude. You know what? That shit's hard, dude. Rest in peace. The, it, rest in peace. And it, it kind of, I mean, do you think it looks like Aaliyah, though? <laughs> I was fine. <laughs> like, that, that's Alyssa. 
Um, yeah, actually, shout out TJ Maxx, dude. TJ Maxx really slides with, like, some fire shirts, like, and I fucking buy them. Yeah, you, like, they have, like, low-key, pretty good graphic tees. Everyone you knows me, for, I think, at this point, to, like, always wear some weird graphic tee or, like, something funny. That's you, The man. last one, uh, with the PA boys, I had, um, the orange the sunflower. tie-dye sunflowers, which is... TJ Maxx, dude, and then I walked in PacSun. Dude, didn't you? Did you? Didn't that contrast well in that fucking picture? That like that like green. Oh, I loved it. That the shit looks picture. so, dude. I wanted yeah. to put that in like a frame. I was yeah. like, this looks like some artwork. I loved it. Yeah, that shit was dope. I, I love it. Shout out to you always fucking coming through with the uh, the uh, Kanye West one was hilarious. Oh fucking, yeah, Kanye. Shout out uh, I think everybody did. Shout then, out, yeah, dude. I seen that first, but um, yeah, he was something else, man. He was in this. He had a Super Bowl commercial, bro. He pulled up in that uh. That four wheeled fucking whatever it was. I seen him at the Super Bowl too. What was that damn thing, dude? Man. Actually, this is something I wanted to talk about too. Uh, we talked about this earlier, um, dude. He's the first one to do this. Kanye put out a album, right? The Donda Two. Oh yeah. On like a device that you have to buy to be able to listen to it. It's called a stem player. It's called a stem player. Yeah. So I mean, you know, everybody knows that Kanye is like very anti industry. So apparently he. Made this device where you can listen to his his new exclusive album Donda Two, but only on this device. Only so on the device, so you can't. So oh, the, this is it right here. Yeah, oh, I the, see. okay. The, yeah. the device is two hundred dollars plus, depending on where you buy it. And then so is it still? It's still like a Bluetooth speaker. Out. It's still like it's also a Bluetooth speaker and all this, but it just comes with the da- sold album. out apparently. Damn. Apparently they sold out. So looks like a damn X pill. So <laughs> doesn't it, dude? He just knows what he's doing, man. Like. Not only did he sell out, but like he just sold a two hundred and fifty dollar album. Album, essentially. really? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, if you think about it, it's just cool. It's just, it's what's cool is it's just the exclusivity of it. You know what I mean? Like right. nobody else can hear this unless you buy it, and it's just like that adds value to it. Like the scarcity adds the value, so it's cool. He knows what he's doing, man. He he is a weird marketing fucking. He is, and he knows what he's doing, genius. and all and all of this crazy stuff right now with him, Pete, and Kim, and all that. It's just it's, it's just time that he. You know what I mean? His name's already dude, in the fucking. He knows what yeah. he's doing, bro. He he knows how to trick the algorithm. He's very smart. He's been doing this kind of shit for a long time. I mean, I've I've already you know late registered. Registration, college dropout. We all knew he was genius. You know what's crazy? If you pick apart some of the stuff that he says, like if you like push past some of the nonsense, like it's not right. how he says it, it's what he says. Right. Sometimes how he says it is like, ugh, it's like you want to face palm. But like when you break it down and dissect some of the stuff that he says, it makes sense. You're right. Like, Yo, that's actually a pretty and, profound and, thought. And some, and it, it's crazy because some of this shit that he says is just so far out there, but some shit you're like, damn. What's the new line? Is like, how did I bring nothing to the table when I am the table? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's not like we're looking at him like he's the most intelligent person on earth, right. but like I think creatively he's a step. One hundred percent. Most yeah. people, I think he's he. Well, he's got uh, different avenues mm-hmm. that he uh, somehow goes down. You know what I mean? Like somehow yeah. he finds these weird avenues that, like, I think what it is to it's makes it easy to like explain like relatable easiness like. Um, like a lot of things are hard to explain with analogies and certain shit mm-hmm. that he's pretty sometimes that he, only you understand right. and others don't. Well, and then that's a mass massly understood. Like from right. you know what I mean. Like there's like some pretty complex stuff that like a, a, someone could explain and you would be like ah because it's kind of complex. But he's he's really good at breaking some some even like some weird shit that you don't ever think about like breaking it down to a simple level i think you know what i mean making you like understand it with just a simple analogy like Mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah uh that's wordplay yeah um uh, he he points out a lot of interesting stuff too with just society like he'll say something about like like buying a house like and i'm not saying buying a house is a bad thing like i encourage anybody who wants to buy a house to buy a house but like he'll say something like like, buying a home you're just he's like he's like you're essentially just locking yourself down to something they tell you you think you need and just like right. and like now he could just be full of shit but like if you think about what he says it's like yeah but it's financially you know, it makes sense if you're 100%. there you know yeah, I, mean? I see both sides but yeah, like because rent is but he's but he's the type of person to look at that and, and, and see it and be like actually you know right it's the other side so i don't know well i mean you know just different point of views, man, and like yeah. avenues. Even if it doesn't, even if it doesn't lead anywhere, just being able to go down that avenue in the first place without like ignoring it, it takes mm-hmm. a fucking different mindset. I like I like know? guys that are like kind of like renegades that kind of go against the grain. Yeah, you know what I mean. I like I like people like. That's why that. you like me a little bit? 
So, you know what's crazy? A lot of the people that I get along with the most are all weird enigmas. Like they all have like a, they're all their personalities are like they're just a little different than like the common. You know, they kind of go yeah. their own way. Right, right, right. And I just feel like I'm drawn to those kind of people because like it's just interesting to me to see the black sheet game. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to lie. I'm not trying to sit here and be like, I'm different, but, you know. But <laughs> okay, I, do find my, I do find myself being uh, gravitating towards people that look at life in a different way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean. Uh, they're more fun. Yeah. They're, uh, it's it's definitely a ride. Who wants to do what everyone else is doing? That's boring and lame. Some re- some things, I guess, make sense. But, yeah. I you mean, know. you you find that generally some things are, like, just easier. So, you're like, fuck, you know, I kind of ride that train. Cause That's true. Like, yeah. Like, the iPhone thing, too. It's like. You just get used to it. And you're like, fuck it. I'll just, you know, I'll take the iPhone. It's like easy. You're like, yeah. Fuck, you know. I mean, the iPhone is like, it just has so many pros and cons. You know, there's something like, you know, I can see yeah. my mom's face every day, and then, but I can also waste half my day looking at shit that doesn't well, matter. Also, uh, Android, man. You ever watch this Android Snapchat? It's like a fucking in Nintendo 64. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, let's take a little breather and um, come back to them uh, later with the. Beam segment two. Kim Beam, we out. Beam. <laughs> What's up, everybody? This is Bowser from the Whiskey Wonders podcast. Today's episode is brought to you by a good friend of mine, Anna Bach, with the Property Plug Florida. She is a real estate agent, also my home girl, and she is a local seasoned realtor working with first-time buyers, sellers, investors, and even luxury homes. She's patient with first-time home buyers, so don't worry about bothering her. She prides herself on taking time to walk each and every buyer through every single step along the way. Uh, following her on social media, it gets you inside scoops on marketing trends, statistics, along with the tips. Uh, she gives you buying and selling advice. It's pretty easy. She's born and raised in Fort Pierce, Florida. And she prides herself on all the local knowledge from places to eat, where to buy your homes. This is the lady to see. These are the people to see. The property plug fl.com. See them and tell them the Whiskey Wonder sent you. Whiskey River Don't Run Dry. No, the Whiskey River does not run dry here with the Whiskey Wonder Boys. Welcome, everybody, to the second segment. It is me and your boy Reagan, the realist. Hey, what's up, everybody? Oh, let me get the. Where's my horns at? Why do I always want to be thirsty? <laughs> <laughs> it's because Corey G is so good at the fucking things. I he lose is, the horns. Man. Yeah. But he also overdoes the horns. <laughs> Have you ever heard him like, yeah, yeah. look at this? <laughs> look, he's not even playing. He's so much better at this. Yeah, dude. There was there was a part in the Matt Allen episode where he wasn't hitting the horns and you were like giving him shit, and then like he came back hitting him and you were like and with then, a vengeance, and you were like, oh, yo, my, I didn't hit the horns, huh? Watch this. Yeah. <laughs> beep, beep. I was hilarious. like, God dang, Bob. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, uh, man, dude. So I actually went and uh, I went and, like go speak on it a little bit, but um, the fight that I went to this weekend. Yeah, man, tell me, tell me about that event in uh, um, Miami, right? Yeah, it was Miami. There's a bare knuckle fight. Was it at the same? Place it was the last time you went. Uh-uh, it was oh. at the Hard Rock. Oh, nice. Yeah, man, it was at the Hard Rock and it was awesome, dude. Mike Perry, he was he fought in the UFC. Shout he, out Mike Perry, another Florida boy, yeah, dude. Fucking represent, dude. Mike, dude. Shout out yeah, Mike. pull up Mike Perry so people can know. Like people uh, don't know by, in, by like uh, the name for some reason, you know. But they look at his face and think, oh, that guy. But um, yeah, he's a. Uh, people know who Mike Perry is, dude. He yes. went viral for getting his nose smashed. Remember his that nose? Remember, remember when he got his nose smashed? Uh. Uh-uh. Hold on. Um, but uh, and Chad Mendez, Chad Chad Mendez. Look at that nose. Oh my god! <laughs> god damn! Holy shit! He's a fucking savage for fucking just getting through that. But like, that's one of the worst broken noses I've ever. Also, seen. Also, he life. has the worst haircut of all time. <laughs> Yeah, but he's he does like the weird like front deal. What was crazy is see, uh, Mike Perry has this like weird like uh fr- he like has bangs. Yeah, he does have that like it's like very like nineties. And he dyed his <laughs> yeah. bangs uh blonde for this fight. Oh, uh, he had and, frosted tips, and it was so bloody that the blonde tips were red at the end of the fight. No fucking way. It was insane. Yeah, the blonde tips were red. But um, yeah, and then Chad Mendez from the UFC fought. It was a good fight, man. And um, dude, did you see Chad Mendez? Dude? His dude, did you see his shoulders? You know what I think? He dude, just tells people I don't know all the time. 
<laughs> Are you on steroids, Chad? Like, I don't, I don't know. know. You know what I mean? He's like this no, all I'm the time. Saying, I'm not saying he's on steroids, but like. But what I mean is he's just. But if he did positive, I wouldn't be surprised. Well, what I'm saying is he's shrugging to everybody. Like, you know, when you, what do you do when you Holy say, I don't know? shit, dude. You're like, like this. Because his traps are diesel. huge. He's trap and a half, dude. Yeah, he looked fucking. This is. Oh, that's, yeah. Is this, this is it, right? No. Yeah, this is the fight right here. Bare Knuckle Mania 2. Yeah, one day ago. Yep. I was there in the stands. I lost three hundred dollars. Look at that, dude. See, he like he was like every time Holy someone asks him a question that he doesn't know, he, Lord, run, dude. he runs and grabs his barbells real fast before he tells him. <laughs> he goes, I don't know, and he shrugs at dude. Him. He can carry like ten backpacks. For real, he was a bay hailer, like he fucking or a uh, hay baler. <laughs> he was bay a hailer. hailer. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the Russell's ten year reserve got me a little bit. Yeah, dude, we haven't even dented the bottle compared nope. to what we used to do. Yeah, we're getting old, bub. Me and you used to go hard, bro. We would just get blacked out drunk and then play every game in the arcade. Yeah, fucking nonstop. We used to go hard on the fucking arcade games. I think we one time, went, remember when we found that drum guy at the on on in St. Pete? Like, oh, fuck it. Dude, your freestyle that night was on point, bro. Yeah, with the drummer guy? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Shout out to that guy, dude. He was fucking tight, man. He called me once after that, like a long time after. You guys exchanged numbers? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I never, I never fucking, friendships. I never like fucking sought the friendship out though. I regret Damn. doing that. I wish yeah. I would have done that. That guy's out there right now, mad and crying because you never hit him up. He probably talks about like, yo, I met these guys on the street and I tried to call him and you just never answered. He's like, what an fucking, I'm that fucking guy, dude. You know, and then he's gonna see us on whiskey waters. He's like, that's the guy. Yeah, dude, <laughs> that's the guy. Fuck these guys. <laughs> just kidding. I should look at my phone and see if I still have his number. Yeah. Give him a call. Give him a call right now. <laughs> Just, that would be crazy, wouldn't it? <laughs> like, hook it up to the thing, you know? Uh, yeah. uh, we do need to figure out how to do that, though. I, well, I figured it out. No? Want to take some incoming calls? Yeah, have, like, a live show. Have incoming calls. That'd be cool. I think so. Even if it's not live, people it's like can old, still like old school radio. Photos. Remember how they used to listen to the radio? They call it on the radio. Yeah, but if we could just maybe put it put it live or or on um, or even just take a call. Like, uh, I guess yeah, we would just put a post on Instagram while we're recording. Yeah, and uh, see if they they can call. call in anonymously with their problems and we solve it for them. Oh shit, we could have a Doctor Phil segment. Yeah, uh, do- sorry, my fucking mic whiskey is whiskey therapy. Out. Whiskey therapy segment. Yeah. Yes, let's tell us your problem, fuck boy problems. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you, know, you want, relationships, um, financial. What did you see? That dude is like the fuck boy hotline or whatever. The fuck boy. Have hotline? you seen that one? No. This dude is like, all right, welcome to the fuck boy hotline. He's like, okay, listen, you try to get away from this girl. Uh, have you tried telling her that you're emotionally unavailable? <laughs> okay, no. He's like this. Okay, have you ever tried uh, telling her that um, you are just too uh, hurt from your last past relationship? Oh, you've tried that one. Okay. Oh, you've tried that one. All right. Well, I'll keep it. Okay. Try it. Okay. Uh, well, have, it's so good, dude. That's hilarious. He has like a bunch of them that he runs down. Have you seen the Tinder swindler? Have you heard about this guy? I have. I actually, the uh, Netflix just came out with like a uh, show, right? Apparently, this dude's going around finessing women out of thousands of dollars off of Tinder. Yeah. It's a uh, fucking pretty smart move, dude. Let me see if I can find it. I know I have it pulled up somewhere. All you're doing is showing this. It's basically like a how to video for fucking creeps. Yeah, I mean, I just, I'm, I find it, I just think the whole thing is crazy. He's like, yo, I'm rich, but can I borrow $50,000 real But quick? I don't think he was rich. Was that, I don't, oh, I haven't no, no, watched it, so. No, he was fronting like he was rich. Right. So there's a podcast um, about it, too, and uh, not this, but it's another guy, which is like, I think what, before this, uh, the guy does the same thing, like all, so, like uh, dating apps. Mm-hmm. Still balling her, so it seems. Yeah, like, apparently uh, he just had an interview too. I haven't watched it, but apparently this guy was going around finessing women out of fucking thousands of dollars. But he w- but he had money because he was on like private jets and shit. So he was oh, okay. He was basically borrowing money from these women to pay for things to impress other women with. Huh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's some. St- Yo, some old fucking cougars That's out there. That's crazy. Just, they're like ready to give that shit up. Yeah, but I mean, women be doing that same shit though. Yeah, d- dude, look at the podcast. There's something about John Saint John or Doc Doctor John. It's like a podcast that was out a few years before this. Doctor John. John. That's such a generic name for a podcast. Yeah, uh, okay, but it's obviously because this guy was like saying that he was like a physician or something, mm-hmm. and. Um, 
uh, to like people on dating websites and he found like he would find like really uh older kind of like looking for love women okay and uh that had money those wounded cougars exactly yeah um and he like fucking finessed them for like money and saying it and they swore that he he was not a physician he like had nothing it was like completely opposite just a con artist it's so good wow yeah uh um, well, that's pretty much what this guy was dude he got that's just insane it's crazy you could do that I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. Just what would, <laughs> I know, but just like what would possess you to want to send that much money to somebody you don't even know? Dude, like that's you have another to be, thing. How? Yeah, you have to be a little like. How? Um, he he must have been you, you really have to, convincing or you're just Or you're just really naive and like fucking yeah. almost dumb. It's, I hate to say, but. It has to be a mixture of both. You're dumb. There's no way he's that smooth. Crazy. Your whole life savings, you just send this so guy. I, I guess him? I don't know the stories, but like, what was the most that he got sent? Can you like, I don't know. Like, I mean, I don't know, but I mean, it, apparently, well, it's enough to make national news. It's right. all over the news, but I don't know. But the thing is, too, is that he's going to get so much notoriety from this that he's going to get his yeah, own show and he's going to get rich off this. They'll pay him to go on podcasts yeah. or, yeah. Talk, oh, yeah. you know, interviews, whatever yes. the fuck it is. Can't, look, he's already on Cameo. Yeah. You see all, that? Dude, all of my, yeah, all of my uh, podcasts that I watch have already talked about him. So he's like, yeah, see? Look, he makes money now on Cameo. The, the, you're just giving them opportunities. See? You know what I mean? Like, he's living a pretty lavish lifestyle. Like, he's not... You know? Like imagine like you being in that spot and having only like ten bucks really though. I mean, that's a lot of that's a lot of fucking rich people. I feel like a lot of people would be fronting like they got it, man. Yeah, they don't got fake it. it till you make it. Fake it till you make it. You seen that video? of Those guys dancing, throwing hundreds, and the dude rip in ski mask, and he rips the dollar and has like, whoa! Uh-huh. Hey, you ripped. He's like, we're rich. We're not rich. Uh-huh. We're fake it till we make it. Fake it till we make it. Um. But, uh, yeah, dude, there's, like, a lot of weird shows. Dude, have you seen Pam and Tommy? No, but this is hilarious, though. Just, if you if you grew up in the 90s, like, you know how hilarious this is. Like, okay, so Pam and Tommy is a, a new series out on uh, Hulu, but, dude, it talks Damn, about. Damn, the girl they got to look like Pam looks so, so close to she her, She looks dude. really close. It's I'm insane. not going to lie. Tommy Lee looks a little corny, bro. He, and he kind of, if you but watch the, the show, girl that plays corny. Pam is pr- Fucking spot on! Holy shit! It's a shit. little corny, but it's pretty close. Also, um, I've I watch it. I'm up to date with it right now, and then they're on like the fourth episode. Dude, that's so that's close. It is close, but dude, I, at the same time, I just thought it was like some generic fucking. And Seth Rogen, I think, is one of the producers of it, and he's in it. Is so it he's he's one of the main characters. Nice. So, um, but what it is is that it's based. I don't want to get into it and ruin it for people that haven't watched it. But it's not just a, a show like about Pam and Tommy's life or whatever. I guess it is, but yeah, I think it's more based on the sex tape that was released and how it was acquired. Right. Which is kind of a crazy story. Who it was acquired by, how they ended up getting it out, because it was just the start of the internet, and they were only on recording on VHS. Like, how they transitioned. And it, you, but without ruining it, everyone, I would say, go watch Pam and Tommy, because it's not just like a, a spoof. It's kind of like a good fucking show yeah. in general. Uh, the story behind how it got out is insane. And it's on Hulu, too. It's on Hulu. Shout out Hulu. I'm going to have to watch that. I love Hulu. Throwback, bro. Baywatch? Baywatch wow. and uh, fucking Motley Crue, dude. Motley Crue, yeah. Damn. Oh, shit. I'm fucking hitting the old blind daddies over here. <laughs> blind daddies, dude. Blind daddy. Speaking of blind, dude, remember uh, old Blind Fury, dude? Yeah, Blind Fury. Shout out Blind Fury. Yeah, shout out Blind Fury, man. We we've, we got to get in with you, bud. Uh, we're in communication for a while, and then it just fell off. I just want to drink whiskey and freestyle and tell him much, how much I appreciate even, him watching just slaughtering people on yeah. fucking MTV Freestyle Fridays or whatever that been. It like, was so forgot. good when he did the one, and it was like... Um, You've been wearing the same damn shirt for four days. <laughs> like, you can't see his shirt. No, but that's what made it such oh, an it awesome so bar. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, he when he had Chris Brown trip, you know what I mean? Off the, like, oh, yeah, the Chris yeah. Brown. That was hard. He's like, yeah. I don't even know why you ain't like this. Yeah. Hey. Uh, Dude, he, he killed it. Swag, bro. Yeah. Mm. Tell him yeah, you leave. You should dude. better leave. He like can sing. Did you? He actually just put out like a fucking country song, dude. Uh, about like it was like touching shit, you know, like some uh, 
some real uh, shit on how, like, you know, being blind. Yeah, I mean, respect it, dude. I mean, the thing I respect about Blind Fury is he's multi-talented, bro. He can rap. He can he's sing. He's a musician. Yeah, dude. He's he's a, you see him on the piano. He's a fucking monster on yeah, the piano. It's just it's amazing. It's amazing. He's a monster. How was it? He's a monster. <laughs> I'll let you boy. I'll let you boy. So inappropriate. For I know, not a minute. <laughs> Where's Corey G when you need him? Where is Corey? <laughs> oh man. Oh shit, that's hilarious. Yeah. Man. So the the fucking uh, yeah man. Some new shows. What's the new uh, Ozark? I just finished the the latest season. That's my favorite show right now. You. I yeah, love Ruth second Langmore. time you brought it up. You love it, huh? Yeah, Ruth Langmore, dude. I mean, I, I made a Whiskey Wonders meme with uh with I know, Darlene, recently. dude. That you, was, <laughs> it's you like know? your boy loves Ozark. Yeah, it, it is the best show. But I just think it's a little like they draw shit out a little bit. You know what? I mean, first season. Didn't draw anything out. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. shit was bam, 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 bam. Mm-hmm. Second season, like, now they, like, make you watch, like, a whole s- fucking episode for one crazy shit to happen. Yeah. Back in the day, there was, like, yeah. three or four crazy shit happen per episode. You know what I mean? Which, I, I hate that they do that. It's because like, you kind of Longevity, but, like, come on. Had to see what, you kind of had to see what was going to play out. Because I think what they did was, there. I think the writing on that show was really good. And I think they slowed it down on purpose because... <laughs> I don't want to spoil alert for anybody, like, but they were kind of, I think, like Marty and his family, and then the cartel were both playing chess, and like I think the lo- like the reason why it was spread out was oh, because so you, neither, how what both, episode did you? I'm, I finished it. Oh, it's all done. Yeah, I, so I don't want I don't want to say any. Oh, okay, because I'm I don't even. I don't want to say like, anymore. I don't want to like say anymore. Episode five or something. But I think it's for a reason. Okay, okay. Well, now you know it's for it a reason. It establishes now. the balance of power, and you'll understand okay. that when you watch it. It's a good show, Stella. dude. Um, I just like I just love Marty's character. Like he is who I want to be in stressful situations. Oh, really? Calm as fuck, collected. Okay, yep, we're gonna figure this out. Love I that. love that his character, but he he's uh, that's him. That's what's his name? Marty. Marty no, but Marty, what's Marty his, Bird. No, what's his name in real um, life? Um, because even in horrible bosses, he's like kind of the same, but funny kind of. You know what I mean? It's it's good. I love that dude. What is, I just. Uh, Marty Bird. Sam Dermody. No, it's Jason Bateman. Jason Bateman. Yeah, I knew it. That's super <laughs> Who are these familiar. people right here? Oh, Wendy Bird. Oh, that's in the in the actual, like, uh, yeah. huh. Damn, you could cool. edit all this out <laughs> for sure. Yeah, that's okay. That's <laughs> Look at the Grand Theft Auto Ozark style. Oh, my God. That's pretty hard. If they made a Grand Theft Auto Ozark style. Yeah, that'd be dope. This shit would be the best thing ever. Hey, balls in your court, Hollywood. Rockstar Games. Okay, Rockstar Games. Listen. Get on it. Ozark fucking Grand Theft Auto style version, whatever. But yeah, if anybody's looking for a great show on Netflix, Ozark is a great show. Go watch Ozark. Yeah. Uh, if you probably haven't already, you probably did. Best show of all time is The Office, though. We all know that. Yeah, shout out, <laughs> shout out to The Office. Um, have you ever heard that show Euphoria? Euphoria has been getting a lot of attention lately. Apparently oh, it's his show. I I've had like a small like uh, I I've talked to a few people. Haven't seen it. It it's has a, that like uh, a lot of drugs and shit. Yeah, it has that girl from Spider Man Zendaya. Zendaya. Right, Zendaya. I, don't know, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but you know she's really pretty. But she's been. They talk about her. They talk about her like she's she's the shit. So I'm guessing this show she is got pretty badass good. hair. I love her hair to death. But apparently like this show has some, <laughs> have a lot of serious drug use in this show. Yeah. I haven't watched it. I haven't watched it. And there's like some flack on it because it's kids and shit. Right. Like giving the, yeah, like, 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 green yeah. light on fucking. well, I mean, I guess di- like the, remember dare, remember the, you know, remember the I don't know drugs are really expensive. <laughs> <laughs> dare, uh, no, we, uh, we, we support dare drugs are, what is it? What is it again? I mean, drugs are. They're making it seem like high school. They're they're basically showing that like high school because they're like shooting heroin and doing no. But like I'm really saying intense drugs. What is there again? D- drugs are. Um, it's um again. I forgot the fucking shit. Right? How do you forget that? It's like shoved down our throats as kids forever. How do we forget that? I don't remember, but I just know that they're basically against everything the show is. But they basically they say the show is glamorizing drug use among young young adults. And they, and they think that's very controversial and that, it like, you know, whatever. 
But I mean, when I was in high school, like there was people doing drugs, man. You know what I mean? Maybe oh, one hundred percent. Maybe not to the, the extent bathroom. of shooting heroin up, but they were definitely getting, they were definitely doing drugs. Well, yeah, that, it does. It also depends on times that you grew up. Like what was big in high school at the time, you know? Like think about like uh, in the fucking seventies. There's probably a bunch of cocaine and fucking you know which. Maybe even now, but I'm saying, like, that was, like, cocaine era. You know what I mean? In yeah. the 90s was, like, a lot of ecstasy. Kids in fucking high school were probably taking a lot of ecstasy. Can yeah. we Can we, Can we? we figure that out? What is D, D Dare? Can we do that? Can you pull that up, please? Just to see, because, like, I feel like everyone's listening. They're like, you guys are idiots. How do, how do we not remember this? Res, resist drugs and violence. No, that's not it. <laughs> drug, re, drug abuse resistance education. Drug abuse resistance education. Why did I think it was something else forever? I don't know. Because it's been forever. You know, I had to, I had to like learn all these. Do the do the workbook. Wow, man. Why well, did I not know that? Remember the workbook? It was like no. Jimmy offers Chris a line of cocaine in the hallway. What, what? do you do? And I'm like, there's no way that he's Jimmy's standing that there with a mirror <laughs> with lines of cocaine on it. Like, here you go. Want to go into eighth period? Like, super skeeted. There's no. <laughs> well, you know what I mean? Like this, like this. Well, can we do it in a fucking in the bathroom, bitch? Come on. <laughs> Just kidding. But um, I could never do cocaine and then to go to class, bro. Are you it's so me? it's so cr- what? I feel like that would have helped with me at least. I'm like. What to science? I know science. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> science. I know everything about Maybe. science. We could do science right now. I could do science. Like, we want to put me drop this in here and it blows up. Okay, awesome. I love science. <laughs> science. Um, but um, yeah, dude, it's crazy. Like I there, I feel like I I used to know exactly what that meant, and now like it just you just we all we mind. all let this dude. Down, Isn't that bro. crazy? Like. <laughs> He's the big ass t- the lion. The lion. Is he's fucking. He's really bro. not proud of us. But, yeah, dude. but um, have you uh, <laughs> like the remember when uh, people? I guess not remember, but like what the uh, Luke, I am your father situation, where like we always remember something that wasn't didn't happen. What what is it called? Oh, like, are you talking about the Mandela effect? Mandela effect. Yeah, like some crazy shit. Like I feel like that just happened to me with this fucking. Shit, I thought it meant really? something else. Like, I don't even think I ever said that Im- ever. Drugs, uh, drug abuse resistance education. As a mm-hmm. kid, I thought I knew exactly what DARE was, like the abbreviation. Mm-hmm. I don't think I ever said that together. So this is, we're in a different... Uh, this fucking, loop. this was a course on how to be a snitch. That's what this was. 6 9 course? Yeah. Like, if you see your friend doing drugs, what are you going to do? Go to the police. Like, no, the fuck I'm not. No, I'm going to hit that bone, daddy. <laughs> I'm going to hit that bong, daddy. I'm like, I'm trying to hit the vape in the bathroom now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I think, like, kids nowadays, I feel like they're getting their hands on stuff younger, way younger than we did. When yeah, we were, man. You know what I mean? They make it shit easier. You can, when you were kids, there weren't vape pens. Yeah, exactly. I was about to say, when you are a kid, when you smoked, bitches smelled it a mile away. Like, yeah. this motherfucker come out the house like this. Who's smoking, bitch? Yeah, nowadays now you're thirteen year old. You're kids smoking got, in the movie theaters, and nobody knows. Yeah, they got electric blueberry lightning yeah. vape pen with no scent. Motherfucker, those things man, smell theater. like a damn blueberry just went off in the room. You know what I mean? Uh, it's not like you got the black ice. What um, damn, my shit going out. We used to do that all the time. We just get fucked up at school, just you out know, of rebellion. Yeah. <laughs> the stupidest shit ever, dude. Uh, you know what kids you want to drink this Jack Daniels out of this McDonald's? Oh cup shit, really? In the fourth period. Damn, you did that? Yeah. Oh shit. We were, yeah, but it was the stupidest shit ever, dude. I used to sneak out on school nights to go play beer pong in my friend's house because his parents were like, "Okay, well that I did." That I did. And I'm like uh, on a school night for what? Just to go to school tomorrow, feeling like talk shit all day. The stupidest well, shit ever. Well, you didn't also like when you. The, the I had hang- fun when I did it. The hangovers stupid. weren't as bad for sure. It was just the thrill of breaking the rules. Well, like, when you're, when you're 16, you drink a fucking, fu- what, like, eight beers, and you're, like, fucking hammered or whatever. 16? And you- I'm drinking four beers, and I'm hammered. Okay, exactly. So, what I mean is your hangover is, like, nothing. It's not you the hangover. You wake up, and you, ru- like, yeah, rubber band sleeping. bounce back. Yeah, yeah. I well, I mean, but even no sleep at 16, you're like, fuck, what? Like, I don't even want to go to sleep anyway. I'm fucking, I'm, I'm gone. That is true. When when I went out, like, young, like, we would stay, we would just stay up for no fucking reason. Yeah, and the next day, you'd be like, let's do it again. Yeah. Now, if you stayed up till fucking three. I feel it for a week. I'm, dude. I'm not a commission for a week. Yeah, I got to catch up, brother. Dude, if I eat something with cheese, I'm like, yeah, I better start <laughs> drinking water now, dog. 
<laughs> you know what cheese fucks you up? Nah, I'm just I'm just making an old joke. But I know I know I'm getting to those years like rapidly approaching. You know that cheesy bread. I can't even eat the motherfucking cheesy bread no more. Dude, fucking cheesy bread, dude. Remember yeah. the fucking stuffed fucking crust I was about pizza? to say stuffed crust. That shit's... Sl- How'd you just read my because mind? Because that shit was fucking So slapped. good. Whatever happened to that? They don't make that no more? They do make it. Everywhere makes it now, but it's not as good. 100%. Have you noticed that, like... I was all uh, like all the shit that you used to buy. That Even was like, Pizza Hut, right? Didn't they? Weren't they Pizza the OG? Was they the were the OG. OG, dude. They were the OG, OG stuff that. For us, I think. For Shout my, out to fucking Pizza Hut for that I, fucking glorious. And they did the pizza, the mention. party box too. I love that they come through. Oh yeah, the party box. It's got like two pizzas and like shit in the middle, one box. Off. Two pizzas, one box. Yeah. Slide. Damn. That's fucking progression right there. That's childhood, bro. All the that's parties. Progression. Uh, <laughs> that's progression <laughs> That's you know Everybody g- gotta get on that um, You know Oh shit You're just, in, you're just in and out of the matrix Dude with that mic. Stop touching the mic so much dude You're so You're a, like You have like a compulsive kiss, uh, disorder uh, <laughs> like, What do you want to do? Not touch it what? Well you gotta fix the cord now Cause now it's gotta ring Is it fucked up? You just touch it Just wait till it stops There you go No, no, no don't touch it Speak. I'm not touching it. I just can't. Sounds perfect. <laughs> uh, shit. It'll get you drunk. Hey, let's, right. What else we got on our list? We got Ti doing stand up. Ti does stand up. Ti is doing stand up right Exponentially. now. Exponentially. Um, <laughs> we should make that a bad. Exponentially. <laughs> I can't even say it right now. Uh, what what is this? What was he on? Laugh. Fa- he was at the Laugh Factory. Yeah, man. Good for him, man. That's a good place. I think Ti can adapt to stand up pretty well, dude. He's a good talker. You yeah, know what I, mean? I think he, I think he'll do really well if he just you know goes through you know does what he's supposed. To. Yeah, I mean, can we pull up a little joke? We can pull up like a little joke that he does. I think we get like I don't think there's really any full video of him doing jokes. I think it's just really quick snippets, and you don't really get what well, a lot of these comedy clubs don't allow filming. So a lot of these clips are like true, true. really like sneaky clips. You got to be there. Well, he's probably working jokes out. A lot of comedians, they go to these clubs and like some of their stuff is just they're working it you, out. You think T.I. is going to come up with... If T.I. came up with a stand-up on Netflix, like a special, mm-hmm. what would it be called? Exponentially. <laughs> nah, you was ready for that. You yeah. was ready for that. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't really know. Dude, I mean, he does everything. He fucking did a skate movie. He's like a fucking rollerblader. Or not a blader, I guess. He wasn't in talking about it. Are we talking about ATL? No, I'm talking about Brink. T.I. was in Brink. No, he wasn't. <laughs> <Just, laughs> no, fucking wasn't, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Imagine if Brink had a ghetto like, version, like, like a Brink. hood version. <laughs> <laughs> Brink, the movie, had, like, did. <laughs> uh, there's a ghetto version of Brink. What, what would a it? good plus of having a playoff beard. It <laughs> soaks up the mess. Oh, uh, man. Uh, uh, let's, uh, man. I'm going to sip the rest of this beverage, and we'll take another little breather. I just spelled it on myself. That's okay. Rest in peace to Aaliyah. You pour it out for Aaliyah, dude. Pour it out on Aaliyah for <laughs> some reason. I don't know why. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. All right, yeah, let's end this segment. We'll come back in a few uh, minutes. Yeah. We'll come back in. How about you guys? Oh, oh, I'm in and out. He's in and out. I'm Neo. The one? Yeah. In sure. the Matrix? Yeah. Horrible. I was going to make an in and out burger joke, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. We are going to be out of here and take a break and come at you with our f- third third, seg- third segment yeah. and final segment. Third and final seg. You're a monster. <laughs> You're a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, turn it up and we can get a little rowdy. Hundred thousand, what you paying for the bounty? Like the Pope, how these people will surround me. Burn this motherfucker to the ground before they found me. I might get whiskey bent sometimes, man. Whiskey and bent. I might get hell bound as well. This is the first time I've been whiskey bent in a while. Uh, shout out to Hank, man. That motherfucker got bent on whiskey. Shout out to Hank. Hank Williams and Hank Williams Jr. Obviously, that's the you know, but both Hank, of them. The the OG senior was good too. The OG. He's got like a son that does music now too. Fire. They all got so it's like a fucking down the line. Fuck yeah, man. Um, I would kill to be able to just play the guitar good. As yeah, fuck. yeah. I can actually rip the guitar pretty. That's good. something I want to a do. little bit, not really good, but. Yeah, you could you, like you can mess around with it a little bit. Yeah, I, I've you know I could jam pretty good. Cool. I'm not an, rip, that's but an jam. instrument. That's an instrument I want to fucking learn so bad. Why don't you? 
I'm gonna fucking work on it this year. Right? Yeah. It's one of my I resolutions. Got some goals this year. Yeah. Okay. Just well, something creative, like a creative fun goal. Yes, like get. The, I'm not gonna be the next clap. Then I'm just trying to like. <laughs> All right. So would fun. you do a, a DIY situation, or would you go to like do lessons? Mm, you know what's crazy? I have a buddy of mine who's a fucking phenomenal guitarist. Does he do lessons? Because sure I think like he being good if he wanted to, yeah. Right. I'm being a good artist. Um, but can you do? Can you teach too? You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, he could for sure. And that's like kind of I'll have to get with him about that. I could like I could play some instruments. I can play drums, guitar, piano. Not super well at all of them, but decent at all. Guitar on best, drums probably right drums there. Drums I feel like would be the hardest. I'm pretty decent at drums. I yeah. actually I probably I might even be better at drums and guitar cuz I I got more I got more of a play on drums. I just can't tap drums. my foot and just, I can't fucking Well, you got to have a rhythm. It's weird. I mean, I don't know. I'm not saying Yeah, I'm just... not saying <laughs> Oh, on the, dr- <laughs> <laughs> on the drums is hard, bro. Yeah, you gotta really. Like, it's. I think it's practice. a separation of your brain, which like, which yeah. is the best. We've talked about this on the podcast. The best thing to do, you know, for kids at a young age is to be able to separate uh, their, like, split their brain um, in half. Right. Like literally, I guess that's what it is because, it, like, you see, drummers have to have like a total two things going on. The same sure. with the piano. Yeah, I could play them on. It's like I would like kind of a a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. um, but enough to have fun with it. But like, also all of that was taught by myself, or you know what I mean? Just like jamming. Like I did some guitar lessons as a kid. Mm-hmm. Um, but everything else has just been like off. Just like you know, fucking playing a lot. My buddies had them at their house or whatever. So I still couldn't go teach anyone something yeah you know what i mean so it's like a different level of like learning it on the way of like yeah because there's a lot of people that are real good at something but can't teach it that's true yeah you know yeah that's very true i don't think i know any instruments i don't think i can play any instruments oh really yeah that's something i fucking no, okay so that, that has that's, to be said, that's yeah. why i want to add that to like beat, my beat arsenal that. of things yeah. that i know you for know? sure like a instrument what okay you do, and guitar is like the what you're going to i mean i can rap and i feel like that's cool but like i feel like i want to learn how to play an instrument and like play a whole song you, got, you do have some bars sometimes man. We, or not not sometimes every uh, now mo- and then most I, can of get, time. I can get most jiggy with it yeah. both of us uh me i used to be pretty good i would say but i don't do it as much i feel like that's more. something me and you have done for a long time so long and it's just you know what it is it's just a brain exercise it is kind of a brain exercise and it's fun and yeah. it's and, and if it, it's not fun if you're not good at it like it right. there's a very fine line of it being fun because like or even tolerable to listen to you know what i mean like you've totally. never seen that friend like fucking he's god damn it this can't mic. fucking get the mic right yeah, yeah that the, fucking idiot yeah you ever seen the guy that can't get the mic right but uh <laughs> <laughs> um yeah he's uh fucking like free, he starts freestyling you're like god damn it what the fuck is it? You just sit there and you're like, that's fire, bro. Uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. That's some yeah. fire God. shit. Just, oh, yeah, that was, yeah, fire, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's a tough one. <laughs> that's like, a tough one. It's cringy, man. Yeah. And you ever seen the freestyle that freestyles over the words of a song already that are playing? That's the not, worst. It's the absolute worst. Or in the club. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, really loud in your ear? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just trying to sit there and be like, this is better than what's playing. Yeah, well, no, oh, it's not. Oh. <laughs> No, you know what though? I do credit freestyle freestyling um, to make me well for making me better at talking. To people. Right, like I feel like I can improvise conversation on the fly. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, Not always, sure. but I feel like it's helped. What me. if you you accidentally start rhyming when you real real fast that'd when you talk fire. to people? <laughs> that'd be fucking awesome. Yo, I will move that brick across the yard. But all like day subtly, got bars. Yeah. Oh wait, what? <laughs> but like subtly, I got bars like of bricks. I'm in. moving them all day. <laughs> You're just slowly mesmerizing them with fucking flow. Yeah, that'd be dope. Um, That's probably the only thing musically I'm good at is, is rapping. Is but ba- but I, I would like to, I like to learn a guitar. I think violin would be cool. That would be tight. That If yeah. you bust a violin out, like, violin off some, be, cool. be like, you, you would, like, not think that was in your arsenal. You know what I mean? Like, right. Like, oh, Catch yeah, him like, off guard. You're like, I got a violin. They're like. What the real boy's got a violin, Reagan? Like a cello. Reagan, the real, just busts out a violin. Yeah, I'm fire. And you're like, and you got like, uh, you're that homie that could play like all the rap songs. What's that dude that stands outside of Walmart? Remember that kid? Like his mom had the kid like stand outside of Walmart and like play um, like uh, like popular songs on a violin though. 
Uh, like rap songs and shit. I feel like that's so like good. all over the place. And they were in getting city. tipped and shit. It was pr- it was crazy. Can we can we pull, like look that up real fast? Is that like, am I am I it's fucking? I, wait, I can look it up. Violin kid. Violin and, and, and out front of Walmart. I think he was playing Fifty Cent in the club one time. It was hard. Oh, it was, yep, there it is in front of Walmart. Uh, but yeah, he played like a, I think it was like yes, yeah, so look, Fifty Cent in the club. He fucking kills it. We could play like a few seconds of it. I think so. See the beats going. Yeah. He's like, he's like maybe fucking five or something. What is he? Oh yeah, he's older, but he's like, oh, oh, see, like that shit. That's breaking the rules right there. What you talking about, Willis? Yeah, that's fucking tight. That would be tight, yeah, man. Legit. If you just played some violin, you'd be the violin daddy. The violin's a cool instrument, man. When you when you apply it like that, it's tight. Yo, okay, so th- like the person like there's a there's got to be a stigma about people with violins, man. It's got like you you like if you're a violin artist, you like your your mom your mom like ties your ponytail extra tight. You know what I mean? Like you got like a magician's ponytail. It's like fucking you know, and if it's not right, she redoes it twelve times in the morning. You know, like a French braid. Yeah, and she's like the real tight ponytail where her eyes are pointed back. Yeah, you know dude, what where I mean? it's like affecting your thoughts. Yeah, yeah. And if you're a dude, it's the comb over for sure, and they're fucking just the split comb over, like yeah. the exact comb over from the side. Remember that haircut? Nobody does that anymore because like it's the, fucking awful. But the actual comb over, like all the way, where you got the fucking crease what is line, the, what daddy. Is all the, the way worst down. haircut, dude. What's the worst bowl haircut, cut, dude? I mean, or flat top. Dude, have, flat you ever had a bowl, have you ever had a bowl had cut? Both. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had a flat right. top. But dude, I, I see some pictures of me with bowl cuts, and I was just like, I want to burn this picture so bad. Yo, I used to have uh I had oh a bowl goodness. cut, but the top, like I used to dye my my mom would let me dye my hair every summer. Yeah. <laughs> like so. because of Eminem, right? I mean, I that and I was just like I still to this day like just, I'd like to be different, I guess. Yeah, yeah, not yeah, even yeah. weird. Uh-huh. Like, uh-huh. Or, or I, you know, whatever myself. But, but like, was Eminem the first reason why? <laughs> kind of. Yeah, me too. <laughs> no, nah, I'm playing. I'm playing. Uh, <laughs> probably. It probably honestly was. It had definitely it had something me, to do 100%. with it. It was for me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, so I, but I like I would try. I would shuffle around. I had like frosted tips one year. It was like with the fucking puka shell necklace. Like what a fuck. That was seventh grade. But you understand, like I'm 32, man. That was like this shit then. Yeah. Like uh, yeah. I don't know if I had the puka shell. I don't. But uh, it, I remember I did, had a necklace on, but I don't remember kind of necklace. Uh, for my school photo, anyway, is what yeah. I'm going at. But um, Dude, with the frosted the tips and shit. I had the shell necklaces. Sure. But um, this one, I had a bowl cut, and I had the bottom of it was dark. Like, I kept it dark, and the guy only uh, dyed the bowl cut blonde. <laughs> like, who the fuck am I? <laughs> Hell yeah! Hell yeah! I was like, oh fucking... my god, that's so. And great. then you know what? It was pretty funny that uh, I had this one situation where, um, like, I, I if, as a kid, I remember like the day that I remembered it or like uh, figured it out. I would say, mm-hmm. um, I always used to put gel in my hair. Man, I'm gonna fucking put that gel. Yeah. What? L.A. looks. Put that shit in. Thick, L.A. looks right? with all the bubbles all over yeah, it. And it was like every yeah. color imagined. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, yeah. <laughs> All over in your hair, okay? Gel in your hair was so I, that shit I back then. I did that, right. And I did the c- fucking c- the bowl cut with it. Yeah. Like, so they would stay. It would be a kind of fucking <laughs> yeah. gel, yeah. Though, dude. Yeah, dude. And I remember the day I realized how, how dumb I was because I didn't do the back. So it would always be like, <laughs> it would always be like this, and the <laughs> back had to throw. <laughs> Dude, I did the same shit, dude. Dude, I, I didn't do the, the back. Like the first, just the front of my And you had fro, and my shit was like this, bowl cut. I'm just like, I can't fray, see it, so fuck it. The fucking fray in the back, the band, my, the whole band, the fray was in the back. Dude, I OD'd with the gel, bro. <laughs> I know, I man. My mom like, dude, you fucking would think I was a Jersey Shore, dude. Man. Oh my god. Those are the days, dude. Seventh Holy grade. Holy shit, dude. When Hell jail yeah. came out. Dude, the people really hair, dude. I guess like people use like way better shit than that. Now you can you go find a bottle of LA looks, that old fucking uh yeah, Save by sure. the Bell Joe. Yeah, Walmart. That Walmart got it, bro. Cosmetic. Save by the Bell that. Joe. Saved by the Bell Gel. Yeah, man. That was the seventies shit. They look like seventies. Like the whole the whole theme was seventies, right? Yeah. Damn, that's um, some throwback shit, bro. 
It's a gel the hair every day before school. You got to put a bottle of that up for people to see when we. We will. I'll, I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up. Um, yeah, man. Crazy. And then it came back with the uh, a lot of gel. My buddy Tony used to do do the blowouts before Jersey Shore was a thing. Oh yeah. Shout out Tony Talese. He's from New York, but obviously, but fucking dude. You touch that bitch and it was like that motherfucker spike you, dude. Oof. It's like you could go fucking uh, what's that shit called? What we just talked about last week, and you could go fucking gigging with the top of his head. Oh, dude. I bet you could stab a fish right. Dude, my the cousin, heart. he was like a he was like pick a him up. I have a cousin, he's fish like, on he's top like, of his head. He's like a goth or whatever. And like when I was a kid, oh, or he's a goth or whatever. No, he used to be like goth. Like he was like punk goth, whatever. Like back yeah. in like I was real young. But I he remember- wore the sweatbands and hacky sacked. He wore like all black and he was like playing. Did he ha- play hacky sack? No, I don't think he played hacky sack. No. No, but he uh he used to spike his hair with like real like glue stick. Oh, yeah, yeah, I I think I have, yeah. Bro, yeah, yeah like that. those really crazy real spikes that you see with oh, those real Oh, yeah, yeah, like good Charlotte type yeah, shit. Yeah, some good Charlotte shit. Remember fucking good Charlotte. Good bro. Charlotte. Yeah, don't put the good Charlotte up. Uh Benji and uh I think his name is Benji and his brother Joel or something. Um, oh shit That's a little Easy easy killer Yeah and their shit was mad Or made yeah, you see that shit Whatever Yeah you see that spiky hair dude That's that's like glue We glue. used to think that was so cool well, Dude my cousin used short to get Elmer's of glue in his hair for, To stick those spikes up bro Isn't that fucking crazy That's insane What's fucking uh, The movie uh, The dude um, The bigger dude That was in uh, Butterfly Effect He had that at one time <laughs> Oh, uh, he's I know. From My name is Earl. I know exactly what you're talking about. From remember the Titans? Too? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boy meets world too. Boy meets dude, world. Dude, we just reminded. So Ethan, his name is Ethan, and now, dude, actually, that's an awesome. We should pull that up. The dude, dude he, from, got, he lost a lot of weight. No, he's, he's like Jack now, and now he's yeah, Jack. What is that guy's name? Ethan something, dude. Um, and uh. Dude, this is an awesome story. I'm glad that we like organically got into this, but his name is look right there. Remember the Tyson cast? Oh right. yeah, 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 yeah. No, um, that's not him, right? No, 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 wrong guy. No, no, guy yeah, right you here. missed it. Yeah, that guy. This guy. Dude, he's fucking huge now, but he also like he uh, what's his name? It's gotta be Ethan something. I swear, uh, he was on uh, Joe Rogan's podcast. Ethan, Ethan Souple. Ethan Souple. Um, I hope we're pronouncing that right. Put Ethan Souple goth, too. You can pull that up and you'll <laughs> you'll see exactly what we're talking about. <laughs> see, look. <laughs> I don't know how I thought about that, but for some reason that, that came up. But, yeah, now look at him, dude. dude now yeah, pull that. Now yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, now he's fucking diesel. Dude, that's insane. Jeez. That's going to be, look, if for all you guys listening, uh, go to the YouTube and watch this one. Because for this dude, for how him. big he is, he's, he probably can lift some serious weight. He's, he's jacked. Yeah, he's big. Fucking huge, man. Um, also, him. like, you got to be pretty strong to carry on around all that weight all the time and then lose it. Like, yeah. you, kill, you still keep that muscle that was meant to carry around that weight, which is kind of crazy. Remember him in Boy Meets World? I, oh, wow, dude. Yeah. 90s. Damn, dude. Ethan Souple. What a boss, dude. Yeah, it's crazy. Good for him. Yeah, for sure, man. But speaking, uh, of, speaking of working out, dude, like you got a fight coming up. Yeah. How's your work how's your training regimen going, dude? Walk me through that. Um, like, have you learned anything new? Like yeah. what's what's going on? I mean, on uh that? not like we just right now, uh just doing a lot of ma- maintaining cardio mm-hmm. and um and, and so getting important. down on weight right now cuz I just actually started camp uh so mm-hmm. uh I got 2 months so I just started and we're really like um I'm doing this like 13 round circuits and just making sure that I have longevity with in movement I've just yeah. been working a lot so um that's dope. And then I'm going to, yeah, I, I just started sparring actually again. And uh, mainly I, for this, I want to make sure that my cardio is just good. I, think that's, I, mean? I think that's wise. Uh, just yeah. because, you know, I, I, I do have a lot of faith in my, my talent behind it. So I just want to make sure I can use the talent the entire Dude, time. The best fighters emphasize cardio greatly, bro. Right. Cardio is most important. The first guy to get tired dies. Nate Diaz. That's the man. rule. We talk about this all the time. Dude, yeah. That's, dude, yeah. He's a perfect advocate for yeah. cardio, man. The guy does triathlons for fun. Dude, and uh, and that's essentially, you know? I like, I am I stay long. Obviously, they're, they're going to, I'm working on a lot of takedown. I want to work on, uh, I am working on a lot of takedown and staying long. 
mm-hmm. um, it, which I'm like throwing. I'm trying to be able to throw a fucking a hundred powerful jabs as in a fight in each round and still have uh, my left hand. So that's pretty much what I'm working on. Good. Without hopefully nobody's my fight. My opponent doesn't listen to this. <laughs> um, but yeah, because I know they're gonna shoot my legs, so I'm doing a lot of takedown defense. And um, is your fight M- an MMA fight? Yes. Oh, okay. I've been uh, well. Uh, it's up in the air with her. I've, I want it to be, and I'm really pushing for it to be, and um, I think Dan's going to go ahead and maybe hopefully give me that. If mm-hmm. if not, uh, I will I will accept a kickboxing fight if it comes down to that. So let me also say that. I think you just need to get in the ring, dude, and just exactly. feel it out. You know? uh, I don't care either way. I just want to uh, – I'll accept either fight. So, um, But, yeah, uh, April 16th, I fight April 16th. We'll be there full force, cameras rolling. Let's go. In man. 4K. Uh, I am coming soon. Either way, either way, I'm gonna, I'm definitely, uh, I'm gonna pr- try real hard to take that W. Have you, know? you have you done any jujitsu? Learned anything on the ground? Um, we do. We're doing some jujitsu. Yes. Uh, we're. It's right now. Like I said at the beginning, I just started this past week. So I, I just and I've been kind of like. Uh, I would say on the downward, I, you know, the snowball effect of soda and bullshit. One, you know what I mean. So I just started getting off. All of it takes it. is one bad day. Um. Well, I was just doing it for a while. Now I, it's been a week of not doing it. You know what I mean. That's so. Good. Okay. Um. And then it's my been my first week. So like I said, uh, I I've just been doing a lot of like getting back in rotation and doing rounds. Been like mm-hmm. a lot of cardio, not not stop moving. You know what I mean. Just so I get into the cardio. But yeah, we're definitely mixing in uh, jiu jitsu with it. Nice. Sure. Good. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Um. Like I said, man, just keep running. Whenever you got some time to run, run. Yeah, I'm running. Uh, I do. So I'm at the gym, too. I, I've been, like, just trying to mix it Is up. there a treadmill at your neighborhood gym? Yeah, I, oh, I'm on the treadmill. On I do, yeah, I'll do. i do a mile there. on the bike and then a mile on the treadmill. But um, I do. get that up to, like. Well, I, do, I don't. I also am trying to, like, get to build some muscle because I, I don't can. have to drop a lot of weight for this. That's not like a, it's not you, like a you thing. You can, but make sure you get those miles in. I, and I do, and then I do at, le- at least 10 minutes in the sauna afterwards mm-hmm. after each workout too. So my, okay, I guess you, my, my regimen right now is I'll go to the gym for an hour mm-hmm. and we'll do, if it's like a training day, my, my coach is telling me to go light. <laughs> I'm like just in there fucking listen to Kevin Gates, not going light. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we do an hour of training, mm-hmm. whether it be drills, you know, anything that he, my coach says. And then, so that's two hours. And then we do about 10 minutes in the sauna. And then I go home and eat a fat rice and chicken bowl. Let's live. And uh, drink a gallon of at least of water a day, which I need to move. Wouldn't move it be awesome to just train full time? Right? If that was like my job and people just gave me if people money just for that. people me to just work out would be the best life ever. Yeah, man. I would be into that. God, that's awesome. That's good, one thing I hear about. Guys. <laughs> yeah. That's one thing I hear about like professional athletes or fighters. They're like, all we do is train. I'm like, that sounds so awesome. Mm-hmm. Even besides, like, I mean, besides the injuries and getting the shit kicked out right. of you. And like, that's the thing. Like, um, <clears throat> that, like, even some of the drills, I like, could go back. Like, you're sore, obviously, from working out, uh, you know, quite a bit. And, mm-hmm. um, now I'm taking like the sauna helps with that. I get the massage, massage going or right. whatever. Is the sauna like some of your like favorite forms of the, like rehab? It's therapy? good because yeah. like I'll stretch in the sauna. You Dude, know I, mean? I just yeah. got these compression leg sleeves. Yeah, I seen that. You slip them over your legs. They compress your legs. They tighten. And it helps increase blood flow and it helps with muscle soreness. And so every time I right. run, I'll run like I'll do I like on my days off. I get up like I'll, I'll go to the gym at like five in the morning. I'll bang out like four to five mile run. Four to five mile run. Yeah, but I've been doing this for a long time, so I built up to this. You know what I'm saying? But I'll do like yeah, a four Bubba. or five. Yeah, I love it though. I love running because I'll just sit there and like I'll listen to my music or I'll listen to a podcast or an audio book. Just get lost in it. Forget I'm even running before I know it. Like an hour went by. That's like five ish miles. You ran an hour. Damn. Yeah. Oh, you had yeah. a tread on the treadmill. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I, I think it's very. I think cardio is very important, bro. Because it's like it's a survival thing. Like right. you could be as you could be a big muscular guy, but like if you have no cardio and you have no like wind to you, like you're right. gonna get you're gonna get dominated. And, and you got to do like independent. Like what kind of cardio d- depends but on? But I switch too, it like, up too. Like I'll switch it up. Like one day I'll do like like uh, like one day I'll just I'll just run as far as I can. Like I'll do like ten miles. Right. Just 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 see how far I can go. At like five miles an hour right. or whatever. And some days easy. I'll do like I'll run I'll run two miles and then I'll run my next two miles on an incline. Right. And, and then the next day I'll run it um, I'll run I'll run two miles uh regularly, two on an incline and then I'll I'll walk 
one mile uphill holding dumbbells. Oh shit! You yeah. over here, Boston? Oh yeah, you're, yeah. You're you big have, daddy. But you have to switch. You have to. You have to trick. Bido. You got to trick your. I let you boy. You got to trick your nervous system. And, and, right. You got to switch know. it up. And uh, yeah. and that's a, like what I've been trying to work on too is like the explosiveness. So like and still get in and um keeping energy there so like yeah if you're on a treadmill like I, what i was doing is like hit i'll, I'll stay at like a steady eight or mm-hmm. seven i got long legs i can fucking pretty yeah. much try that yeah like, that's that's awesome dude like good you know uh-huh um but i'll like every now and then I'll, I'll just bump it up to 11 real fast for like ding, ding, yeah. Ding, get yeah, it up good. and that's then good. go back to nine so i so my explosiveness like i get up there and mm-hmm. get it back down and still maintain the nine yeah. or the eight or seven or whatever. You, you know want to I mean? like, can, you want your heart rate to like be fucking, right. you know what I'm saying? Like that's, right. that's what you want. Well, just for this sport too, because like in, like there's going to be a time where I have to explode and still, and then and be, while you're tired and then exactly. Yeah. And then come back and still re- exactly. stay at seven. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's what I've been trying to like. That's good, dude. That's really good. Just keep implementing that and like really get familiar with that treadmill, right. put your time on it. And I'm telling you, it's going to benefit you greatly. I promise. And I just started working out legs, which. Oh Yeah. Learn to love it. I hate it. Dude, learn I hate to love it, so it much. Bro. Learn to love it, man. Legs is like the number one most hated thing to work out in the working out world. Unless, but in you the know working what? out world. But, but if you learn to love it, though, like heavy squats can benefit you so much because like right. you produce testosterone so much more efficiently when you add squats to your regimen. Like if you do squats two to three times a week. You'll I'll break sp- my knees. No, I'm telling you, know, your testosterone know, know, levels are going to raise up, bro. It's, it's I promise you. Dude. I, I, did a, I did a workout program where I squatted every day for like – six months straight and i went from squatting like a plate and a quarter to like four plates which is 405 pounds that's crazy crazy you, but just freaking... just from following that program you could probably almost dunk it at your height oh i was dunking oh yeah i can't dunk now but in my like mid-20s yeah i could throw down and how tall are you six one depending you, on my you're six one yeah 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 Damn. I know that's like. <laughs> I guess you're I'm six maybe, six. So yeah. Like, yeah, like, oh, yeah. Oh. I and I do. You're only five that, inches shorter than me. And that's the thing. <laughs> I do notice that like people are like I'm six foot, and I, I I would like my brain thinks of a six foot person like a pretty tall. I mean, it's like not bad, but then I'm like, uh, but then some people be like, yeah, I'm six foot. I'm like, yeah, you're six foot. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, it doesn't seem because I'm. I guess I am. Yeah, like, you're a tall guy, dude. Six six is it's tall. It's weird, and but I don't like if you see me on camera, you see me like because you're like sitting, sitting down, down or yeah, anything. You're sitting but down, bro. but like some people that are tall, you can notice they're tall beforehand. I don't think I'm that guy. You know what I mean? Notice they're tall beforehand. Like uh, you see a guy sitting down, you're like, damn, he's tall because his fucking feet, his knees are I hitting. You like, look tall from me sitting where I'm sitting. Damn. Well, maybe I'm wrong. We always see ourselves different, huh? Well, we always you only see, see yourself from a different. tall perspective, Corey. From the airplane view, yeah. eagle's eye. Yeah, you're the guy that's in the front of the concert. Like, I wish this. Guy I would hate. Just move. <laughs> wish this fucking. Yo, guy would I'll move. tell you right now, I will not even stand up close because I've just like felt bad. I've had like girlfriends in the past like want to bring me real close to concerts. And I'm like, yeah, sure. And then I get up there and I'm like, I don't like it up here. She's like, why? I'm like, because everyone behind me <laughs> hates me right now. <laughs> hates you. And it's like, I'm sorry, guys. And I always apologize. I'm like, sorry. Yeah. You know, uh, sorry. I want to get close to, but too, on the you know plus I mean? side, when we're all fucked up, like you're the most easy to find. You're like, there this is. is everybody There's tells the top me of this. His hat. Everyone says the exact same There's thing. There's the to top me. of his LA Dodgers hat. Yeah. They're like, hey, look, if you're trying to find Corey, just look up and he will be in a crowd somewhere. Yeah. There's a picture of Little Wayne at the skate park at Tampa. Mm-hmm. And, uh, it's him like holding up a trophy or something, or or standing with a guy that won it and holding up a trophy. And you're in the picture because you're fucking tall as Listen, shit. Listen, way in the background, <laughs> you see this guy's way taller than everybody is. I'm like with the glasses. <laughs> it's so prominent because like it's I'm so much taller than everybody. But yeah, it's like yeah. off in the background. It's like and it looks weird because I might have been standing on something because there everybody else is like chest. I'm like the fucking <laughs> poking up, man. What, what was the year in your life where you like really shot it up, like so? Um, ninth to actually it was, uh, yeah, ninth to 10th grade, like ninth grade, so your summer. freshman year, ninth grade summer. So you went in a sophomore year, like six, six, it like, wasn't that up? big yet, but I was like, it was that summer I shot up pretty good or maybe just six nice. foot or something, but I made, um, the varsity, uh, point guard, but I, for my freshman year, but I was like, 
I was I don't going. I was like I don't know how tall I was back then, but it wasn't like tall. But it was before my spurt. Have you, know you always mean? have you been tall your whole life? It was like no. It was like small five five something like five 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 six. I don't know maybe because you're six six. That's that's tall. It went so it happened so fast that I got stretch marks. <laughs> okay, so yeah, like I said, yeah. you had to have splurted up. Like there was one summer. Su- one summer was yeah. definitely like a good five inches or something crazy. Had it been like your eighth grade freshman year ish. Yeah, that's that what time. exactly it was. Yeah. Freshman to tenth grade, and then tenth grade, like I, <clears throat> uh, long story, I fucking went to the electrical school. But so that's how I realized because then, like right after that, I went from like maybe six whatever I was that mm-hmm. big spurt to another spurt to six six. What's up, everybody? This is Bowser from the Whiskey Wonders Podcast, and today's episode is brought to you by Pickhart's Landscaping Service. Pickhart's Landscaping Service is a full lawn and property maintenance company servicing Martin and St. Lucie County, privately owned and operated with over 10 years' experience. Monthly full-service maintenance plans start at $100. Mention Whiskey Wonders Podcast and receive 20% off your first month. That's P-I-C-K-H-A-R-D-T-S. Pick Hearts Landscaping Company. Good buddy of mine, good dude, born and raised in South Florida. Give him a call and tell him that we sent you. Between the span of like freshman and then like being like 18, 19 years old, I got to 6'6. Six, six, you know what I mean? Yeah, From yeah. There. Uh, and then, I, and, then and you played ball in high school all the way to senior year? No, no, no. Oh. I just my freshman year. Just your freshman year. I because I uh, like I said, slow, I don't want to get into a long That's story. I was same. Di- I it's dropped out and went too. to electrical school. Yeah. and started being an electrician. That's a long story short. Yeah, um, Word but on uh, that. yeah, blue. I went blue collar, but I I did play. I played in elementary school, or so, yeah, I actually did play in elementary school because we went to like a school that had its little elementary basketball program. It yeah. was like a Christian school, and then um, in uh, middle school, which I don't know like what it's called, like grade school, middle school, or something for mm-hmm. other places, but mm-hmm. here it's called middle school, which was like sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. I played every year. Yeah. And then ninth grade, ninth grade, I made fucking the varsity team, which was pretty cool because I was, that's tight. I got the handles and I was small though. As a freshman, that's really good, dude. It was tight, man. It was cool. Um, I wore like rainbow socks to my tryouts so they would remember me. It was like a whole thing. <laughs> I did. I wore these big ass, my stepdad that's why, that's at why the time she told me, he's like, you know, he's like, you ain't going to be seen out there with all them boys out there playing because, you know, they're so fucking, wear these rainbow socks. Yeah, back then it was like white boy couldn't you. go play hoop. You know what I mean? I was like, <laughs> Your uncle was hoop. fucking with you. <laughs> so I fucking put the fucking big old socks on, man. And yeah. Uh, yeah, I ended up playing really well. So, and obviously they're like, that's the rainbow, dude. So I stood out. And dude, I, I shot hoops today, dude. Yeah, yeah. I was just recently at my mom's house, and North- she has a basketball goal and a basketball at all times from the time I was two to like fucking thirty. Like I still got the moves, dude. But, but like I-, I understand why like the older dudes at the gym are like really good at those mid range jump shots. Yeah, you just got to get good at those. Yeah, you can hang all day. You just stay right there. You can't try. You to don't have to run much. very much. <laughs> people don't really guard much. you right there for some reason. <laughs> it's because it's because every now every now it's just people just want to fucking drive or shoot threes. Yeah. I Lost can't even, art you, the mid-range jump you shot. You ever fucking... I, I started, like, a, I joined, like, a little club um, to play, like, um, it was, like, 25 and up, like, maybe a couple years back, and, like, uh, I, like, got a five, a team of five together. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm thinking, oh, five on five, I got a team of five, it's all over 25, they're gonna be, like, some, you know, older dudes or whatever. Mm-hmm. When I got there, dude, there was... T- they, each team was like had jerseys made up there's like 15 people so they had subs yeah, yeah. and all this shit i was like we just i met these guys on yeah. facebook i, I just met put these a guys at the bus stop <laughs> yeah i put like, asked people yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know what i mean i had like yeah. five, i got barely scraped five guys guess together. you guys got to the finals no dude no <laughs> Not at all, dude. <laughs> Some of these men lied on their resume, dude. <laughs> Some of these just lied Not at all, dude. We got eliminated. Oh, my round. God. And you know what it is? It was crazy. We were getting fucked up, but I was... Yeah. I remember I'm not even trying to, like, fucking be uh, boasting, but, dude, I was... Stop I was fucking boasting, I was dude. doing so good, yeah. and uh, but nobody else was. Like even my buddy was so so You're good. He was player. real tall, and he was he. I know he's good, yeah. but something about the pressure of and then not being able to take a break and shit because like they're subbing oh, and so subbing, he was just subbing. out of breath and like yeah yeah, dude. But I was me too. But um, I remember we only played like two games because I by the second game I was like this this they've obviously done some research we haven't you know yeah, 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 yeah. 
yeah. um, it was like I made a post on Facebook and found people. Well, they had up. people to fucking sub in so people can get their bur- yeah, dude. Just, and you yeah. don't have a sub. In I, a, in I the scored league, like twenty eight points in like the first half, and it was we yeah. had thirty two. Okay, I scored twenty eight. We had thirty two points altogether. Oh wow! The other team. Like 68. <laughs> it's like, I'm not even kidding. We're getting fucking smoked. Yeah, and I had sucks. 28 points. That sucks, dude. Um, but, yeah, That's it so was uh, it it was fun, though. Um, but I wish I would have did something like that. Yeah. Like, I wish I still would do something like that with um, correctly. Now I'll know. The Whiskey Boys challenge any podcast out Let's there. Let's go. Fucking two I, on I can two. hoop, man. I can hoop. I know. Me no? too. Hey. All right. That's our next deal. Let's let's find a two on two tournament. Well, we're we're right. we're all whiskey. Any one podcast, any fucking two on two podcast in the Fort Pierce or Fort Myers area let's wants go. that smoke, dude. Anything y'all want, let's go. Uh, we challenge you. Ten foot, ten foot rim. We'll negotiate I, any sort of ha- nine and a half, so I can still dunk. Nine and a half. I think you can still get a ten foot if you get one. <laughs> I probably up. could. It might. It's been one minute. out of ten times, maybe. Yeah, I I could definitely. I yeah. I do. I could do a three sixty backwards. I I used to be able to. Get That's it. awesome, dude. I had to like alley oop it to myself to get it, but when I get it though, I can fucking cram it. I got some stuff on my Instagram, but um, man, um, dude, this has been a good episode. It's been really good, and I'm drunk. Well, that's good. Russell's tenure, bub. Yeah. Shout out to Russell's. Um, shout out to the liquid IV and liquid death that I mixed up a minute ago. And drink that before this. Please that sponsor us, so Liquid good. Death, bro. man. What would that would be such a fitting? We club. we are the whiskey wonders, and we like liquid, obviously. So Liquid Death, Liquid IV, I think it's perfect. Yeah, you know what I mean. Absolutely. Um, Reagan, as always, Bowser, my man. Thanks for sliding, dude. Russell's ten years. It's nice to see you on this side of the people. Yeah, yeah, man. Thank you uh, for having uh, me on the you know this coast. I enjoyed it, man. And yeah. uh, till next time. Hell yeah. Reagan, Reagan, thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you for coming on this coast, brother. And Fort Myers, shout out Fort Myers. Yeah. Shout out to Russell's 10 years. East Coast loves you, man. And uh, until next time, brother. Yeah, we out. Cigarettes, whiskey, and wild, wild women. They'll drive you crazy. They'll drive you insane.